What's up guys? Welcome to Be A Metal Fabricator. Today we're going to be building the reverse side of this fender. We're going to be pulling the flexible shape pattern off of this fender. I've already pulled two of the patterns off. We've got one left. I want to show you guys how to pull that off to keep it from not sticking to itself and then how to set it up so we could start building the other pieces for the other fender. So let's jump right into the video. So we're just going to pull this off nice and slowly. Really try to keep it from touching itself. Okay. So got that. Set up there. All right, so to keep this from sticking to itself and then ruining your pattern, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some type of powder on here to reduce the stick. Now, Racheline uses Plaster of Paris. I, I just got some flour, which works just fine. So I'm just gonna shake some of that on here. And I'm just gonna rub it on. Make sure all that stick is gone. Now it's now it won't stick to itself. Now all these match up perfectly, so we know exactly how to build this next fender. So what we're going to need to do now is we're going to need to get a punch, and we're going to have to punch some holes along these lines right here. It's a small hole punch. I'll start punching a couple of holes in this pattern. We're going to be able to mark it with a sharpie, this line, onto our pattern. So now we're going to go ahead and cut out our panel. So I'll just put some magnets on this thing and hold it down. I'm going to mark the outside of this pattern. What I'm also going to do is I have to leave 3 eighths of an inch extra on this side for our flange. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and leave me some extra space, maybe like a half inch. And I could always trim it back later. Okay, let's cut that out on that outer edge. I almost forgot to mention that since we're not making a duplicate of that fender, we're making the reverse side. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to flip this pattern over and then that's where you mark all of your lines and the outside. That way it's a mirror image of the other fender. Okay, so I'm going to start by hammering on the back side on the top of this panel here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to check it up against our flexible shape pattern. Now the cool thing about this flexible shape pattern is it doesn't have to be an arrangement in order to figure out the information that you need. So I could put this thing on here and see where it needs to shrink, where it needs to stretch more before I put it back in arrangement. So right now I'm just trying to get the area of value and I got a lot of loose material in this area. A lot of loose material in this area and I got a lot of loose material right here. So all that loose area means that I got to bring this panel up and stretch it so that this flexible shape pattern fits nice and tight on the panel. Once it fits nice and tight on the panel, we'll put it back in arrangement and then we can recheck it and make sure everything is good. But for right now, it looks like we still need a bunch of stretching and it still needs a ton of wheeling. So. Let's jump back into stretching it. We'll put it back on the wheel.
So that's looking a little tighter. So let's wheel it, smooth everything out, and see where we're at. Again, I'm gonna take it out of arrangement. Start wheeling. Hold our pattern on our corners. Still got quite a bit, quite a bit to do. Quite a bit of stretching still. And this is getting kind of like this, so I gotta put some more, some more stretching in the middle as well. I'm going to remark where my reference, where my contour gauges, I mean, are going to be because it got rubbed off running through the English wheel. Let's try it again here, see where we're at. We're getting close. Might, it might need a little bit of stretching in here, but I think we're pretty much good. It's kind of hard to tell because this wants to flare up to get to the natural curve of the other fender. But I think we're right there. So, at this point, this is where our contour gauges come into play, okay? So, according to our pattern. This is one, two, three. So what we're gonna wanna do is get one and then try to fit it. Well, one's not gonna work because it requires a flange actually, so. Start with two, so I'm way off over here. So this needs to curve in more, and this needs to also curve in more. So let me try to get the arrangement into place. It's gonna take some hammer and dolling, so I got this dolly here and a hammer. And I'm gonna start getting this edge to come up. Okay, a little closer there on the on the two you can see that that, that curve actually fits pretty nice there. <laughs> so now we gotta get the top one over a little more. Let me get a different dolly for that. I'll use my trusty egg-shaped dolly. Let's try two. Okay. A little more.
probably have to do some shrinking on the top edge here. This one to crumple up. Let me hit that on the... Well, let me see where I'm at, actually. Okay, so I had to beat this down a little bit and try to grab that try to grab that contour and just try to play with it to see where where it needed to go. But for as far as the two goes, I've pretty much got that one on. We're on our reference marks and it's looking pretty good. Maybe a little little bit of a gap in there, but not not bad at all. That's that's where we want to be on the one and the three. The problem with the one is, where is it at? On that, on that one, I already did the flanges, so this isn't gonna allow me to check where that flange is at. So I'm just going to have to mark it right at the edge of the flange here on my, that's where the flange is, both sides. And I'm gonna cut this edge off. Now I have a sharpie mark where my flange goes, so I just need to make sure that my reference mark is lined up. And, and the contour is good, and right here where this flange goes is right on the edge of my mark, so. It just could curve in a little bit. Contour is good, but my my reference line isn't in the right spot. So that's telling me that that top needs to go down a little more. mark it's like the bottom on the three needs to come out a little bit I have to probably hammer on it and change change where this is coming off. It needs a this needs to come out just a little bit more on that flange. So let me mess with that a little bit.
So let's double check them. Here's one. Fits pretty good. Two. Two's got two's a little off. It got away from me when I was messing with the three. Check three. He's looking all right. He's looking pretty good. So two needs to be hammered. That looks pretty good. My edge is a little funky. All right, double check again. Just a little bit. One looks good. Two's a little funky, let's see. Two looks good. Uh, three looks good. Now I just kind of got to get all this looking nice. I'll try some of these dings in here. So now that this is fitting pretty good, I can mark around the edges of this pattern, mark my 3 8 of an inch, trim the excess, and then start the next panel. Now I'm going to do this with all three of these patterns, and then once I get all three of them done, I'll cut these edges off right here, match them up, weld them, and then we'll have a beautiful mirror image of the fender that we had already built. So. I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, like and subscribe. Check out my merch store. I got some pretty cool shirts out there. It helps the channel if you guys buy something. I appreciate you guys for watching once again, and we'll see you in the next one.